based at the moment and what we're really about is giving opportunity to people through community connections. Okay, we don't want anyone in our society being lonely or isolated, so we give them a chance to come and meet people. That's not what we're talking about today though, okay? One of the things that we notice a lot in what we try and do is how people deal with difficulty. Okay, every single one of you is going to come up against something difficult in your lives. It's going to happen. It's okay, all right? But what is important is how you deal with difficulty, what you do with that situation. Okay, it's not what happens to you, it's how you deal with it. I myself, I'm not going to tell you too much about me today, but as a little thing, I lost my son Jacob at 18 years old in January to cancer. Okay, we had a 14-month fight. It was bad. It was bad. But here we are, and we're doing good stuff, because it doesn't knock you down. You decide to be a victor, not a victim. Okay, and that is important in your life. And if you can get that into your heads right now, things are going to be a lot better for you in the future, okay? Luke is going to tell you his story now. I'm going to hand, him over to you, hand you over to him, okay? Hey, how are we going, Brian? Yeah. That's good. Um, I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Luke. Um, I'm from the Sandgate area. But um, in 2013, I had a pretty bad accident coming off a skateboard. Um, I was at, a, at, um, at the Sunshine Coast um, just skating around and I ended up falling off in my head and I ended up being put into a coma for five weeks. And uh, I was in the hospital for six and a half months. And um, I could have got out of the hospital and just been like, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna lay in bed all day. But like, you're not gonna get anywhere with doing that. So I ended up deciding to get a job and I ended up doing, like working for Kids Australia. And I ended up like, just, you know, you figure out people are dealing with stuff their whole entire life. And like, I had a little accident and I can't compare that to them dealing with something their whole life. So, and then I ended up getting a job doing traffic control. Like, you know what I mean? Just doing, doing a bit of traffic control. And I ended up, um, like meeting these blokes to go on like a trip kind of thing, yeah. And like that ended up changing my life because I, I wouldn't be here right now speaking to you guys if I didn't do that because I'd be too scared to get up in front of the stage. But here I am speaking to Bob Yall and State High School. But yeah, like I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, the thing is with Luke, the interest point Luke, he doesn't have to work. Yeah. Okay, he's got your access to a disability pension. Okay, but he doesn't do that. Why? Because he doesn't want to be that guy. He wants to be more important than that. He wants to give himself more opportunities than, than what is expected of him. Okay, you guys can do that too. Whatever what's happening with you. You might be in a good situation or my situation, but things are going to happen to you guys, okay? And when those situations arise, what are you going to do? You're going to choose to be better? Because it's your choice, or you can choose to lay down and die. It's entirely up to you, okay? Yes, dear, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, jump on YouTube when you get a chance if you're interested. And there's a great thing on YouTube called Yes Theory. Has anyone heard of that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Lukey's on there at one point in time. Now, he was doing his job at night shift on a, um, you know, doing his uh, traffic controller. And these random guys came up to him and said, Hey, do you want to come to Great Barrier Roof? And instead of going, Oh, no, nah, it's a bit nervy like two or three other people have done, Lukey said, Yes. Luke, he went on a great trip. Luke, he learned a lot. He met some cool people. He told his story, and now there's all these people wanting to go and speak. He's just come back from LA and a few other bits and pieces. Okay? That's because he took a chance. It's because he had a go, and he said yes. Okay? When those opportunities come up in your life, say yes. When you get a chance to think about going, oh, poor me, or get up and go, how about you think about get up and go? I guarantee you, it will change your life. Thanks guys, hope that means something to you. Thank you.